this showcase is an amazing man. It's Steve Levitt of Dueling Shoes. He's on page 189 in the addendum to your directory. He's in booth 10 out in the uh, display area. He's from Eflin, North Carolina. And he's danced in the United States and internationally with the famed Apple Chill Cloggers. And he co-founded the percussive dance ensemble Dueling Shoes. He's also a musician. And he's created a performing arts presentation of the original story, Journey to the Mountain, A Roots Tale. He began performing this adventure story in elementary schools in 2005. The story teaches audiences about the roots of North Carolina's official folk dance, clogging, and in addition to infusing music, song, and dance with North Carolina history. The program also weaves in journeys made, challenges faced, and contributions made by Native Americans, Africans, and Europeans to North Carolina's rich history. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Steve Levitt to the stage. high-speed tour of Journey to the Mountain Roots Tale. It's a lot faster than I do in the schools and without most of the audience participation. The story begins with my bird bone flute. See if you can guess what bird I made this flute from. A long time ago, long before settlers came to America, people lived all across what we call North Carolina. And in the mountains, in the western part of the state, the Cherokees. Among them, a young girl. She escaped from the Trail of Tears. Okay. Her name is Dancing One. Given this name because out of all the Cherokee dances, the eagle dance, the bear dance, the warrior dance, she would only dance one step. It looked and sounded like this. She stepped down on the ground, right on the beat of the drum. She couldn't learn any other step. No one could explain why. And then one night, she had a dream. In her dream, a giant bird swooped down over her and said, you've been given a mission to teach, to use this step to connect yourself and your people with those you will meet in the future. As that story unfolded, something else was happening way across the ocean from North Carolina, up here in Europe. See if you can guess what country this tune comes from. In the northern part of Ireland, there was a young boy named Tommy. He and his family were Scots-Irish, potato farmers, and very poor. <coughs> Now, Tom was a very unhappy young fellow because of the tragic accident, he had lost his older brother. And out of all the dance steps in Ireland, Tommy would only dance one step. It looked and sounded like this. It's called the double toe because you hit your toe twice on the ground before you step down. He was nicknamed Double Toe Tommy. The Irish potato family was upon him. They were hungry and desperate. They decided to leave Ireland and uh, make a new life for themselves in America. They boarded a great sailing ship. And on that ship, Tommy met an old salty sea sailor who played the bones that were cut from the ribs of a cat. And he and the sailor sang this song when they raised the anchor. Sing along with me and clap on the words, way hey, ready? Five, six, here we go. Way hey, up she rises, way hey, up she rises, way hey, up she rises, a lot in the morning. What do you do to a lazy sailor? What do you do to a lazy sailor? What do you do to a lazy sailor? Let's clap. Way hey, up she rises, way hey. And as they traveled west, Tommy met an ex-soldier from England. He was in America looking for land. He bought an instrument called a trump, a small curved piece of metal, and he sang this song. Dance all day, fiddle all night. Dance all day, fiddle all night. Dance all day, fiddle all night. That's a soldier's joy. When he made it to Pennsylvania, they came down the great Philadelphia wagon road. And they came to Virginia sang a, beautiful, a song about the beautiful Shenandoah River. They had some great adventures, which I can't tell you about right today, but they made it to the mountains of North Carolina, and when they got there, they built a cabin. And while they were building that cabin, someone took out a pair of wooden spoons, and they played a rhythm, and they sang a song. Let's do this together. Everyone, take one hand, put it this high above your lap. Take your other hand, put it under the first, about halfway between your lap and your hand. The top hand doesn't move. The bottom hand goes down. And talk like this. Here's the tempo. Ready? Five, six, here we go. Down, 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 down. Here's the song they sang. As I was walking down the street, down the street, down the street, a pretty gal I chanced to meet under the sun.
that was going on, something else was happening in Africa. Africa. It's the second largest continent. Slavery was going on in Africa. And in Africa, in certain parts of Africa, they play a rhythm on the drum to let people know slaves have been captured. You know how music can make you feel? See if you can tell how this rhythm makes you feel. ships across the Atlantic along what was called the Middle Passage. One of them ended up on a cotton plantation in Georgia. Her name was Angelina Baker. She caused a lot of trouble. I can't tell you about that right now, but she was sent away. And her boyfriend was so depressed. He picked up an old jawbone. He used to play as an instrument on that plantation. And he sang this song with a stick running across the teeth. Angelina Baker, Angelina's gone. She just me here to weep but tear. And he got my old jawbone. Angelina Baker. Double Toe Tommy and Dancy One, all three of them ended up on the same mountain in North Carolina, and they were all just about to meet. And it happened just like this. Dancy One was dancing to the beat of a drum. A young mountain boy was watching her. His name was Johnny. Johnny Basic. His family came from England more than 100 years earlier. He was a good dancer. He came down and started to dance for with her. And as they were dancing, along comes Angelina Baker. She lived on that same mountain. And she showed them an African offbeat dance. It looks like dance step. It looks like this. And along comes Double Toe Tommy, he shows up an Irish Double Toe. Johnny Basic says, wait a second, I got an idea. I think I can take all those steps, put them together into a brand new step. They say, go ahead and try. He starts with dancing one step right on the beat. Then he adds that African offbeat step right after it, looks like this. Then he looks like an Irish Double Toe right in front of it, and it sounds like this. They say, wow, this is the neatest dance that anyone has seen in this whole mountain. When he stopped dancing, they said, Johnny Basic, it's so amazing. Took all our steps, put them together in the top, into that brand new step. We're going to name it after you. We're going to call it Basic. And that dance step, the Basic, has ex existed throughout all these years to this very day. And today it's one of the most popular Appalachian clogging steps that people in love to do. And many, many steps came out of those Southern Appalachian mountains. Johnny Basic used to dance a lot of them. Sometimes he danced to a tune that sounded like this.